Hello everyone and welcome to the third part of this video series. In the first video, we have seen the overview information about the taste lab which I have created in Windows Server 2003 Active Directory environment. In the second video, we have added Windows Server 2016 as an additional domain controller to our existing Windows Server 2003 Active Directory forest. Now in this video, first of all, we are going to check the replication between both domain controllers and if replication is happening successfully, then we will transfer FSMO rules from Windows Server 2003 to Windows Server 2016. That means we are going to promote Windows Server 2016 additional domain controller to act as a root domain controller for mylab.local domain. So first of all, I'm going to the virtual machine of Windows Server 2003 computer. Let's open Active Directory users and computer snapping. And as you can see here, we can see information about two domain controllers. Fine, the first thing which I'm going to do is let's open Network Connection Console. Let's select our adapter, go for the properties, select Internet Protocol and click on properties. Now here, I'm going to specify the IP address of our Windows Server 2016 domain controller because on that server, we have also installed and configured DNS server rule. Let's click on OK and close it. I'm going on 2016 machine. Let's open Network Connection Console as well. Go for the properties. Here, I'm going to select Internet Protocol version 4. Click on properties. Now, here, I'm going to change the preferred DNS server's IP address, which will be a 192.168.50.8. That is the IP address of the local server because we have DNS server installed and configured on this server as well. And in alternate DNS server, I'm going to specify 192.168.50.5, which is the IP address of our Windows Server 2003 domain controller. Fine, let's click on OK button, close it and close this console. To check replication between both domain controllers, we need to open Active Directory Sites and Services console. Let's click on Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Let's expand sites, expand a site which is headquarter in my case, expand servers and now I'm going to expand 2016 domain controller. Here, first of all, I'm going to click on NTDS settings. As you can see, already automatically generated link is there. But first of all, we need to right click on this NTDS settings, click on all task and check for replication topology. Click on OK and right click and refresh to see the changes. See already we have that automatically generated link, but this is the procedure which we need to follow. Right click on automatically generated link, which is generated by knowledge consistency checker service. Select replicate now. And as you can see, we are receiving message active directory domain services has replicated the connection. Say both domain controllers are in a same site and in a virtual environment, both domain controllers are on a same physical machine which is connected with 1 Gbps speed and that's why replication has been completed very quickly. We want to check the same thing on Windows Server 2003 computer as well. So you can check it from this computer as well but initially I'm going on 2003 computer. Let's open Active Directory Size and Services. I'm going to expand already 2003 server is selected. Right click on NTDS settings. Select all tasks, check replication topology, click on OK button, right click and click on refresh. Let's select automatically generated link, right click on it and click on replicate now. As you can see, Active Directory has replicated the connection. That means both domain controllers are able to replicate data between them. If you want to check replication on 2003 server, you can by expanding 2003 domain controller by clicking on NTDS settings. But if you click on all tasks, you can see here we have a total four options. If you select on local server, that time you are able to only see two options. So remaining two options are available because we are checking on a remote server. Okay, let's right click and select refresh and right click on automatically generated link and go for the replicate now. As you can see, replication is completing successfully. Now we can transfer FSMO rules from server 2003 to 2016 domain controllers. 
I'm going to close this console and I'm going to minimize this console. First of all, we are going to open command prompt. Here, I'm going to run command net dom query fsmo. As you can see, schema master, domain naming master, PDC, RID and infrastructure master, all five fsmo roles are currently assigned to our Windows Server 2003 domain controller, which we want to transfer from 2003 to 2016. For that, we can use a graphical user interface as well. Let's click on tools and select Active Directory users and computers. Let's right click on mylab.local and go for the operation master. As you can see, 2016 server is selected. To change RID master, simply you need to click on change button because already local server is selected and this is the current operation master. Let's click on change, click on yes, click on ok. Do the same for PDC and infrastructure. Let's close. Let's close this console. Now I'm going to click on tools and select active directory, domains and trust. Right click here and select operation master. Remember, uh, this console is also connected with 2016 domain controller. Let's click on change and click on yes. The operation master was successfully transferred. Click on OK and click on close. Let's close this console. The next thing which we have to do is we need to run one command. After that, we are able to see Active Directory Schema Master Snap-in. For that, we need to run one command rag svr32 space schmmgmt dot dll. Let's press enter key and here we are saying message that it was successful. Let's click on OK. Now I'm going to open MMC console. Let's click on file and select add and remove snapping. Remember, we are going to change schema master operational role. Here, we need to select active directory schema. See, that options will be not available here. And that's the reason why we have to use this method. Click on add, click on OK. Now first, we need to select active directory schema. Right now, as you can see, this is connected with 2003 server. So we need to change the connection point. Right click on it, select change active directory domain controller. And here I'm going to select our 2016 domain controller. Click on OK. As you can see, uh, it is telling us that the domain controller which you are connecting is not schema master. Let's click on OK. We know that and that's why we are connecting. Let's right click on the Active Directory Schema, select Operation Master, current master should be online. Here you can see the message is there online and now you want to transfer to this DC, yes, click on change, click on yes and here Operation Master successfully transferred. Now here you can see it was transferred successfully but still here the symbol is saying certain different thing. As you can see, the symbol is something like it is warning. Let's click on OK and let's click on close. Once you do that, let's close the console and after completing that, you need to check the replication. So let's check replication between both domain controllers. Okay, first of all, I'm going to check for 2003 server. Okay, select refresh and right click on automatically generated link. Fine, let's do the same for 2016 DC as well. Right click, all tasks, check replication topology. Okay, right click, refresh, select automatically generated link, right click on it and replicate now. Fine, replication has been completed successfully. Now let's go back to the command prompt and here I'm going to run the same command nat dom query fsmo. As you can see, now all five fsmo rules are currently assigned to our Windows Server 2016 domain controller. That means we have successfully completed step number three. Check our applications and transfer FSMO rules to Windows Server 2016 DC. One more thing which is still pending that we want to verify before we jump to the next video 
and that is what is the status of active directory integrated dns primary zone let's click on tools let's open dns let's expand forward lookup zones first of all i'm going to click on underscore msdcs.mylab.local let's click on refresh button as you can see the startup authority number is 37 this number should be same on both domain controllers Let's open DNS management console on our 2003 server as well. Expand for a lookup zone and click on underscore msdcs.mylab.local. As you can see, it is still on 36. Let's check for the second zone, which is mylab.local and it is on 67. Let's check the same on 2003. And right now that is on 67 means mylab.local zone has been replicated successfully but this zone's replication is still pending and for that the only thing which you can do is you have to wait for it you can force replication to perform instantly but sometimes it may be a little bit delayed and after certain time interval those numbers will be sync on both domain controllers so step 3 has been completed successfully in the next video we will migrate share folders which we have on our windows server 2003 computer let's see it here and why the shared folders are important uh, let me show the active directory users and computer snapping because those two share folders are currently used in group policy one is in group policy if you see the properties and if you click on group policy Let's click on edit, expand window settings and expand folder redirection. Select my documents and go for the properties. This share folder is specified here. So if we remove Windows Server 2003 from our existing environment, so what will happen about this? And that's why we need to migrate this share folder. And the second share folder is currently assigned as a home directory to this users. Fine. So that's why we need to migrate this share folders and which you want to migrate from windows server 2003 to windows server 2019 server so this is the way how we can transfer fsmo rules from windows server 2003 domain controller to windows server 2016 domain controllers and already a uh, windows server 2016 domain controller is configured as a global catalog server so we can simply say now our uh, windows server 2016 working as a root domain controller for mylab.local domain if you have any question and suggestion related to this video feel free to post in comment section thank you all for watching this video